from Sean's Test Bench. This is the first episode of Mail Time. So I have a pile of mail here and about 10 minutes of free time. So let's go through what I got in the mail. Feels computer related. came from Jackson, New Jersey. I know the guy this came from. He's uh, one of my sources on eBay that uh, I buy. He owns a recycling business for computers and I buy products from him. I only deal with two people on eBay for this reason is because he always sends me high quality stuff for a very reasonable price. I have here a Crucial Solid State Drive. It is a 120 gig SSD. And that'll go in one of the computers I built. I'm not sure which one. So let's leave that off to the side. Let's pick a box. This here is come from West Memphis, Arizona. Didn't know they had a West Memphis, Arizona, but they do. I don't know what this is. I do now. These are uh, Dell heat sinks that I buy. They're eight pipe heat sinks. I'm not sure which computer they're for. But I purchased them for around $10 a piece. And I convert the brackets to fit any socket that I want, really. Uh, these are made for seven Intel 775 sockets. But. I remove the Intel mounting and I make my own out of aluminum or I adapt to this one depending on what motherboard I got to go to or fit it to. But these are heat, heat, uh, eight heat pipe CPU coolers, solid copper base, very nice. Uh, they have a 92 millimeter fan in the inside. Uh, I like that. They come with a four pin connector and there's a nice heat sink. I like these because they're only 92 millimeter. They fit in a lot more cases than the, the new Evo, uh, Cooler Master Evo 212 and stuff. I mean, they're just enormous. Even the one I have in my case is, uh, well, I can't even remember the name, but uh, it's, it's just enormous. It's a big tower cooler. If it wasn't for the huge case that I have, it, would, it, it wouldn't fit in here. Okay, so there is that. Set that aside. And another box. I just use a razor blade. Knives go dull. And it's just easier when I unbox and just do boxes that I just use a fresh razor blade. I have a power supply here that I purchased. Same gentleman, New Jersey. This is a Seasonic 300 uh, watt TF 80 plus bronze power supply. This is a Flex ATX power supply. I use them in certain cases that, you know, this is what fits in them. Uh, these Seasonics are pretty good. They're 80 plus bronze. I trust them. I know if I put this in somebody's uh, computer, it's gonna last a long, long time. So. That's just gonna go into stock. I don't have anything for to use that for right now. So I just wanna when he gets them in, I pick a, I pick at least one one of them. Like, a lot of times I try to get two. Okay, this came from White House, Texas. And what I have here is 
Corsair Vengeance Memory. These are four gig modules, so I have eight gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance, and they are uh, 1600 speed. 1600. So got some new RAM to go in a build. I don't have anything to put in this for that either, but uh, I'm sure I'll find something to put it in there. This one's open. Why? Not to open it. I have here four gigabytes of DDR3 1600. I have two sticks of it, so that's another eight gigs of memory. I don't know where this comes from. I don't. It's like there's not a regular shipping label on it. This might have been donated. Uh, some people send me stuff to use in, use in build, so I don't know. Now I pretty much know what comes in these boxes. These are hard drives. So I got a hard drive from a buddy in West Virginia. Same place. Same, uh, same salvage computer recycling center. That's what they do. But, uh, I have stipulations that I order from them, like uh, hard drives. It will be this year only. I will not buy an old used hard drive. A lot of the ones he pulls out of from uh, PCs that I've never used, and they, they get upgraded to uh, SSDs, so the hard drives are rarely ever used. This would appear to be a Seagate 500 gigabyte hard drive. And the date code on it is 2015 which is the drives we're using now. You won't find too many uh, 2016 drives in the computers because they were actually built last year. So, 500 gig hard drive. All right. This came from New Kingsington, Pennsylvania from Tech Deals. Woo woo. Tape around the box. And it's another hard drive. This must be, uh, I have to check on the address because, you know, some, their eBay store name is not corresponding always to the mailbox. Uh, but uh, this might be the other gentleman I get these parts from, from eBay. He also does a recycling center. He's a little smaller though, he doesn't list near as much stuff. But uh, same thing, we have an agreement. He uh, lets me know when there's a really good deal on something. And here I have a one terabyte Seagate Barracuda, uh, 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache, and it's a brand. It's 2015, so. I will be using that in a build. I don't. It'll be for the next build, not the one I'm working on right now. You guys haven't even seen that build, but you will this week. It's going to be built this week. But this will go into the next, probably the next computer I build. We'll get this, uh, most likely it'll get this SSD and this hard drive. Uh, next thing we're unboxing is this case here. I am excited about this. I purchased this on eBay for $12 and change free shipping love it uh, I didn't buy it because it was a cooler master elite or uh, anything other than the fact that it was $12 and change for a brand new case they sold they said brand new unopened box and actually it looked like it's been taped again but I'll, I'll go with what they're saying Okay, let's take it out and take a look at it. Here's the all our phones and paddings. And there she is. Cooler Master Elite 341. Micro ATX chassis. Extremely lightweight. Uh, it's probably not very well made. 
but for 12, 12 bucks, it just can't go wrong. Uh, two fan things, this of course will be cut out for a window. There's uh, no way I'm leaving. I don't think I build too many computers that that I don't put a window in the, in the side because that's kind of what it's all about. Just to show it off, all the hard work and the customizing. Bag of screws, a manual, basic front panel connectors. I didn't like, I noticed that it has a 120 millimeter rear fan. I like that. None in the front, but of course I will get one there. Uh, I noticed this design. It's a lot like a Roswell case. I know it's Cooler Master's name on it, but if that ain't the same, this ain't the same cage as a uh, Rosewell. Well then, they're copying one another pretty darn good. Uh, all in all, it's a nice clean case. The interior's gonna be needed painted black. Uh, it's gonna need chopped up and modified. So, we we'll set that aside. That is for a build down the road. I don't have any plans for that one, but I wasn't gonna pass it up for $12. It just, that'd be ridiculous. Okay, we have here now. This came from Fairburn, Georgia. And it feels like a PC case. And that's exactly what it is. Okay, I remember this one. Yep. Ugh. I bought this off eBay. This is an empty HP compact case. You're probably wondering why would I buy this piece of crap old case when I could buy cases like the uh, Cooler Master I just unboxed. The reason is, is the build I'm currently working on right now, uh, the, theme, the theme of it is Blue Crossfire. It's going to be an AMD APU and a discrete graphics card uh, in Crossfire. I started doing a lot of the modifications and building it long before I decided to do this YouTube thing. So. Because it skips so much, and you will get to see the actual build of it, but not the modifying of it, I went and bought the exact same case. I found this on eBay. I think I paid about 20 bucks with the shipping. I bought the exact same case because I'm going to do the exact same build, maybe in a different color theme, but the same build with the APU and the crossfire with the GPU. Uh, and I'm going to do it with the same case. And I'm going to walk you guys through it. I'm going to every step of the way everything I modify I'm gonna do a video on so you guys can see that so that is why this old case is here this will be the following build after after I complete the blue crossfire so that concludes our unboxing today I'm out of mail so I still have a lot more stuff coming. There was actually something that I was looking forward to or looking for and I don't see it in here, so it must still be on the way or it's misplaced. I misplace things all the time. So I'll have to look around and see if I can find it. There should have been another box and another hard drive that I was looking for. But thank you for joining me during uh, mail time. And if you want to continue seeing these videos, just leave a a comment in the section there and we'll make some more of them. Thank you very much.